boys and girls, it's good to see you again. I'm teacher Maureen, and today we're going to learn another lesson about our King Jesus. But let's open in a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this day. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the wonderful things that it teaches us about you. Help the boys and girls to listen carefully to the truth that you want us to learn today. In your name, amen. Today we're going to talk about the triumphal entry. This is the time when Jesus went to Jerusalem. When Jesus was on earth, God's people didn't have lots of churches like we have today. They have one main place to worship. It was called the temple, and it was in the town called Jerusalem. God's people were preparing for a celebration there to worship him. But they were also talking about Jesus and wondering if he was really the one prophet that God had said he would send. They were ready for a king. Jesus knew the people wanted something different than what he was on earth to do. But still, he knew he had to begin showing the people what their true king would look like and help them understand how to truly follow God. So Jesus told some of his disciples to go ahead of him to a certain place where they would find a donkey they could use. They obeyed and there was a donkey, just as Jesus said. They brought the donkey back to Jesus and he got on it to ride. Now donkeys are not really fancy animals. Kings did not ride donkeys. They rode beautiful horses or had fancy chariots. Donkeys were what the poor people rode. But Jesus wanted to ride into the town of Jerusalem. He wanted to ride a donkey. He needed people to begin to understand that he did not come to seek fancy things of power. He came to be a different kind of king, one who would make himself more like all people. And all of this happened just as God had promised through a prophet long, long ago. God had promised that Jesus would one day ride a donkey into Jerusalem. But the people didn't understand. They were just so excited to see Jesus after hearing about all his miracles. They threw their coats and extra clothes on the road in front of him as he arrived, making a sort of special carpet for him, like a typical king might expect. They waved palm branches and praised God, saying, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Hosanna! Hosanna! The people got a little bit right, but not all right. By riding into town as he did, Jesus was making it clear that he was king. But by riding a donkey and not having a group of fancy servants like a typical king, he was showing that he was not the kind of king they expected. Jesus could have gone to the people and declared himself king and been given all the power in the land. He could have been given money or fancy clothes and all sorts of people to serve him. He could have had whatever kind of food and jewels he wanted whenever he wanted, but that was not the kind of king Jesus came to be. Jesus came to be the kind of king who made himself low on a donkey when he could have made himself big on the highest horse. He came to be the kind of king who chose fishermen as his helper and not those who were fancy and just wanting to get some power too. He came to be the kind of king who would sacrifice for his people and not take from his people. You see, boys and girls, Jesus was the very best king. He was a humble king and he came to earth for you because we're all sinners and we need to be saved from our sin. And that's why Jesus came to save us from our sin. So praise God for Jesus today. Praise God that he was a humble king who rode on a donkey instead of needing fancy things. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this time. We thank you that you are a mighty king, but yet you're humble. You don't need fancy things. You don't need a fancy horse or chariots or people serving you because you came to serve. 
You came to serve us. And we thank you, Jesus. Help us, Jesus, to be like you today. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much, boys and girls. See you next time. Bye.